Warriors NRL Fanatics here, back today with a video, and I'm going to go through my top five controversial ref calls against the Warriors. Now, starting off at number five on my list, and this was a game back in 2018 against the Cronulla Sharks at Mount Smith Stadium in Auckland, and this was where Ricky Latali threw a massive NFL forward pass that led to Edric Lee crossing over in the corner for a try for the Sharks. And they went on to win the game against the Warriors in Auckland. Now going through the replay, the highlights, the touch judge was right near that action and the referee on field should have done better as well. There was a forward pass and I don't know why they did not call it a forward pass. It was an ordinary call at the time and had that call gone the Warriors way, the Warriors could have went on to win that game. So it was a very ordinary call against us. Number four is the New Zealand Warriors versus the Melbourne Storm Anzac Day Clash in Melbourne. And this was back in 2019. Now this is a game where the Warriors were massive underdogs. They, they were massive underdogs in this game. Melbourne Storm were going quite well at the time too. And this was always going to be a tough game and a tough ask to go up to Melbourne and be competitive competitive, or at least um, get the result. And um, yeah, we were one stage surprisingly leading against the Melbourne Storm, 12 points to 10 with five minutes remaining. And um, a massive call in the game, a penalty call went against us for an interference with Jesse Bromwich in the play to ball. Uh, apparently, we made a play at it, so it was a penalty. But on replay, it definitely looked like Jesse Bromwich um, dropped the ball clean and it should have been a Warriors ball. But in the end, the Melbourne Storm got a penalty. It was 12 all, and they went on uh, down the field. 40 metres out, they got a uh, field goal for Brody Croft and they won 13 points to 12. And unfortunately for the Warriors, who were the better team in that game, that they were probably deserving of the victory, but in the end they came away empty and Melbourne won that game. So, also in the game we also had a 4-1 penalty count against us in the second half. So, it was a very frustrating result for Warriors fans alike because we felt we were robbed in the game and we were definitely robbed in that game in my opinion. Number three is versus the Paramount Eels round 18, uh, 2019. And um, this was at Banquo Stadium. And um, it looked like with two minutes to go, the Warriors were going to come from behind to beat Parramatta. Roger two of us check, he threw a spectacular pass. And it was called forward to Gerard Beale. Gerard Beale's try was disallowed and the Warriors uh, lost the game in the end. So another another call going against the Warriors. This was back in 2019 and this was a game where we could have won and um, kept our final soaps alive. So yeah, another very, very disappointing referee decision going against us. Number two is versus the Gold Coast Titans from last year. Now, this was a game I went to, and um, we were up 12-0 at the time in this game, and I thought we were going to comfortably go on and win this. But, um, yeah, we had a 5-0 penalty count against us, and um, there were some shocking bunker referee calls. Uh, the Jack Heverington try, which wasn't awarded. Um, but still, yeah, we should have done better. We, we were up 12-0. We should have done better in that game. But, yeah, a few ordinary calls went against us for most part of the game. Number one versus, uh, versus uh, Jess Tavana versus the Eels. This is another one against versus the Eels, but this was last year. Um, the Sinbin call um, against Nathan Brown. Um, Jess Tavanga apparently punched Nathan Brown, which I don't think 
uh, was all his fault. I think Nathan Brown was part of that incident, but they said Jazz Tavanga deserved a sin bin for that, and uh, Nathan Brown got nothing. In my opinion, it should have just been a penalty, but it wasn't, and um, that proved a pretty pivotal moment because Parramatta were leading 4-0 at the time, and they went on, jumped out to another big lead, and the Warriors had to chase them down. And then in the second half in that game, there was another call against the Warriors um, where Roger Tuova Sheik got taken out in the air and they said it was a penalty to Parramatta and Parramatta got uh, two points from that, from the sticks. So, yeah, that's my top five controversial ref calls against the Warriors. These are only current ones. There are probably some more from the past as well, but I've only done the current ones. So, yeah, don't please don't forget... Hit that subscribe button, like the video, and I'll see you again in the next one.